Today we will try giving some pop to this image with the biker using the Lightroom app. Other than the basic tuning, we are going to use different selective filters to make the image more interesting. We will start with basic tuning in light menu. First I am going to add some brightness by increasing the exposure a bit. Reducing the highlights to get some details mainly in the sky. Increasing the shadows to recover some details in the foreground. Increasing the whites a bit to get some punch to the brighter parts. Reducing the blacks too. Adding some contrast. Now to the color menu. Adding vibrance to the overall image. Now going to the HSL sliders by tapping the mix button. Here first I am gonna move the blue hues in the sky towards science. Also will reduce the saturation a lot. Now to the greens, moving them more towards yellow, also more saturation. Yellows towards oranges which is making the image move more towards orange tones with the light teal added. Also saturating those tiny bits of reds on the biker. Next to the detail menu. First I am going to move the masking slider with two fingers which gives a visual cue on where the effect will be applied. Increasing the sharpness on these parts. Now we will go to the selective edits. On the left if we tap the plus button we will find the three options for selective editing. The first one is the brush filter, the second radial and the third linear or graduated filter. We will start with the graduated filter. Dragging it from the top to little towards bottom so that it covers the sky completely. Here in the light menu decreasing the exposure to make that part darker. As you can notice this has also affected the main subject. To remove the effect there I am going to use the eraser tool option for this filter. Here you can change the brush size also the feather. We will keep the soft feather as it is and brush on the subject roughly to remove the effect of the graduated filter. One more graduated filter at the bottom right. Adding more whites and reducing blacks to give some pop to the white flowers. Also adding some contrast. Now I am going to make a separate selection on the main subject. For that I am going to use the brush filter. Basically we will brush to get the selection here. Adjusting the brush size. Zooming in and roughly brushing on the subject here. Also the bike. To get a fine selection on the arm, also reducing the feather to get hard edges on the brush. I am going to reduce the brush size. Now zooming in and brushing to get a fine selection.
This will take a lot of time especially to get perfect selection. For the video purpose going for a rough selection around the edges. Zooming out and making the remaining selection on the subject. For this selection, I'm going to try to give more pop by increasing exposure, adding whites and reducing the blacks a bit. More contrast. Increasing the brightness of the highlights. In the color menu, adding more saturation. Adding more clarity in the effects menu. Fine tuning the selection by getting a hard brush here. I'm gonna add one more brush filter here on the front tire. Resizing the brush with a hot feather and selecting the tire. Adding more clarity. And brightening it a bit by increasing whites and blacks. As the part on the headlights is too bright, going back to the brush filter on the subject and erasing out the masking on the headlights. Few radial filters, one here to give some contrast and brightness to the vegetation. Copying and pasting on the right. One here down below. One on the bike here. These are some examples on how to use the selective filters in Lightroom. Trying some vignetting here in the FX menu. Going to curves in the light menu to tune the final contrast. The final result here. Thanks for watching.